Are you sick and tired of having to aim and whiffing your shots and holding long angles and all that annoying M4 and AK and SCAR gameplay where you have to hit the headshot otherwise you lose the fight? Well, you've come to the right place. Um, I also do something called drop shotting. So with an SMG, it's very easy. Let's say that guy's the that guy's the target. He's using an M4. He's gonna be pre-aiming at the head, which is about like here. So if you drop, they're dead. They can't they can't kill you. It's it's literally it works 95% of the time. Hello, my name is Basil Mez, and I'm gonna teach you guys the importance of sneaking in Veil VR. So many people don't know this, but you can move without making noise in Veil. This is done by just pushing slightly forward on your thumbstick or by crouching and just pushing forward all the way. Now, situations where you might consider sneaking, this could be done all around the map, but for this scenario, let's imagine someone has just planted some 1v1, they don't know about you, and they're just on site defending. Now, if you're coming from cave, just running up, he'll hear you and then you'll get peeked into. He'll hear you coming up and just. But bombs just planted, you have time, so you can just sneak up all the way, and this way you won't get peeked into. You just keep on doing it and surprise him. Crosshair placement is one of the most crucial things that you need to learn in Veil. Since everybody in Veil is the same height as you, you can basically pretty much free fire or free aim spots that you usually expect an enemy to go to. If you have good uh, good timings or good reflexes, you can pre fire that. You probably get a kill if you know the general pre fire headshot spots where people go through. Take, for, say, for example, uh, A main or A long over here. You can just pre fire that if you know the spots here. Same thing with middle over here. You can just aim generally right there, and this is where the enemy's heads will go or should be. So you can just pre fire that. Come out there and you kill him. So yeah. Veil VR has damage drop off. This means that guns do less damage at longer ranges. For the pistols, this affects the Uzi the most. The Uzi is very effective at close range due to its fast fire rate, but at long range, it's hard to control and requires many hits to kill. SMGs also have fast fire rates and are effective at short to medium range engagements but damage drop-off makes them worse than rifles at medium to long-range encounters. Rifles do much more damage than SMGs at medium and long range, but they have slower fire rates than SMGs, and you must hit headshots at close range to beat SMG players. Um, one of the things that I use and everyone does is peek at advantage. Um, so say someone's like, right there. if you swing them, first, you'll always be able to shoot them first. And number two thing is like, you want to strafe when you shoot. You don't want to swing them. Still, you want to swing them. It makes it harder for him to hit you. And if there's just one guy, you can just like, so you don't have to stop. Come back. If there's like two, you can do this. Go back to cover so the second guy can't kill you. 